Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about iOS 14 and jailbreaking. Yes, iOS 14 is closer than we think. And I really have yet to even begin to brainstorm what I want to see out of iOS 14. As I've been so busy talking about the latest jailbreak news and tweaks. And it just hit me. There are some awesome tweaks out there that would be just incredible to see in iOS 14. And I'm not thinking too radically here. We've seen Apple take inspiration from the jailbreak community in the past to improve the iOS software and add new features to the iPhone. I mean, just as of last year, dark mode is now on iOS. That's a huge accomplishment there. That's a feature that's been around for a long time on jailbroken iPhones, but now it's implemented into stock iOS. Anyhow, with that being said, I figured I would try something new today, give a new spin to my top tweaks video, and kind of combine a few topics here. Now, I just want to show you guys my personal jailbroken setup, what tweaks I use on a daily basis, and uh, throughout this video, I'll highlight some of my favorite must-have tweaks that I really hope come to light in iOS 14. Anyhow, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let me go ahead and show you guys my current jailbroken setup that's inspired by iOS 14. So these 14 tweaks that I'm gonna talk about throughout this video, they're not in any particular order, but I've really focused on simplicity, functionality, and customization. I would love to see that on iOS 14. I love what Apple's made already with iOS 13, if they just simplified it a little bit, added a few more functions, and added the ability to customize it just a little bit more would be great. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get into my setup. Let's go ahead and start on the lock screen since we're here. So starting at the top, I have this tweak called Calm right here, which is just an awesome clock widget, pushes everything to the left. The colors are based on your wallpaper. It adds the clock, it adds the weather, and it adds up next. And the really cool thing about this is the up next part of it is not only your calendar event, but also your reminders. Now, right below this, this is one thing that I would love to see in iOS 14, this tweak called complications. It brings Apple Watch style complications to the iPhone. And this tweak is just done so well. So you can customize how many rows or icons you want to have, but for every single icon, you have so many options to choose from. And a lot of the settings can be adjusted here, horizontal offset, number of rows, number of columns, uh, your application style, if there's a background or not, things like that. I don't quite expect that level of customization from iOS 14, but it would just be incredible to add some complications directly to your lock screen. So one thing that's bugged me for the longest time, I love that you have your flashlight toggle here, but it made absolutely no sense that you had your camera toggle on the right when you can always just swipe to the right to get to your camera. So instead of wasting that space, this tweak called Quick LS lets you pin any icon you want or multiple icons right down there in the bottom right. Super cool tweak that adds a lot of functionality to quickly jump back into the settings app, Cydia, or any app you guys pin there. And then very lastly on the lock screen, this tweak was actually hidden until I have my music playing, but there's a couple things going on here. The main one I really wanna see in iOS 14 is Up Next 2. And basically what this does is it lets you pick what song is coming up next. You can just click the X button right there to change the song on the fly so you can quickly skip a song that's coming up next. Super cool tweak. I love this design of the lock screen music control widget. And really the crazy part here, this is just, this is just the lock screen. And things really, they don't look that much different than iOS, but there's it doesn't feel like it's an Android phone or anything like that, but there's so much more going on so much more useful information right here and useful feature sets um, on the lock screen now just with three or four tweaks. All right, so that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about about the lock screen. Let's move on to the home screen. Well, there's a couple things going on here that you'll see right off the bat. Again, this isn't too different than stock iOS, but it just looks so much cleaner. I've talked about in previous videos how to get rid of your icon labels, and really, they're not gone. They're just, uh, they just hide and fade away when you don't need them. Same with the page dots, they fade away in the background. Super cool tweak, a new one called Central puts your icons. Uh, if you guys have an uneven amount of icons, instead of justifying them to the left, they will center the bottom icons, something like that. Even your folders are centered too. Looks super clean. Anyhow, the last one at the very bottom, adding a 
fifth icon to your dock, especially on these huge iPhone 11 Pro Max devices, you have the space to easily click it. And I don't know if we'll see this, but I love this tweak. It's kind of a Mac OS inspired dock tweak called Harbor. It gives you that magnification effect right on your iOS device. And the really cool thing is too, um, if you guys get a notification from your icons or your icons that are in the dock, they'll actually bounce just like they do on Mac OS. Anyhow, super cool tweak. I just really want the ability to add a fifth icon. That's all I want from iOS 14 would be great. Um, very lastly, this one's kind of hidden on the home screen, but I've always wanted the ability to add the widgets right here um, to pin them directly on your home screen. I mean, no one wants to scroll all the way over to access this and then scroll down again. It's just a lot of scrolling. It'd be great if you could just pin like battery or weather or something like that on your home screen. Well, this tweak is the next best thing called VLOX. It's brand new. If you guys go ahead and hold down on one icon, you can select it right there. And this is a preview of what it's gonna look like and you have three size options. Now check this out. If I go say medium size, now I have a medium sized icon of my Spotify application. So really this isn't taking a widget from uh, the widgets pane and putting it on the home screen. It's just making this icon bigger and expanding it, which I really, I love this implementation. Like another example is like with the weather. Um, if you expand this, uh, if I go ahead and go full size, just like that, bam, all of the other icons move into the correct places. Again, the last one is centered on the home screen, but look at that, it just looks great. And the coolest part about this tweak is if you guys actually go into Spotify or whatever music player you have, go ahead and turn the volume down real fast, but the album artwork is actually in the background of that little widget right there. It looks super, super cool. Anyhow, this has to be one of my favorite new jailbreaking tweaks that just recently came out. I love the way it looks. I would love to see something like this on iOS 14. Let me know what you guys think down below. So I'll keep these next couple pretty quick, but I really just wanted to mention them and get them on everyone's mind again. I'd love to see a new multitasking feature in iOS 14, a grid layout kind of like on previous iOS versions, just makes it so much easier to get to the app that you want. I love that you have the control center platters right down there at the very bottom, but really probably my favorite part um, is that you have the ability to quickly close all of your applications just like that. Now, I was laughing, I heard an article at one point that it actually uses more battery or wastes more battery to open up multitasking and close out of every single application than it does to just leave them open in the background. I'm going, that's, that's just ridiculous. Just add a button to close them all. Anyhow, super cool tweak called Gesto. And uh, one more, I'm sure you guys have seen this iOS 14 inspired control center called Prism. Looks awesome. It works great. It is fully out of beta now. So you guys can go ahead and purchase this tweak and get it running on your device. And it works so great. It's worth every penny, guys. But again, the control center is a big area that I could see a lot of improvements coming to in iOS 14. I mean, just the ability to access it in the bottom right, instead of having to reach to the top of your phone, that would be game changing. Furthermore, when you're not playing music, I love that the, the music platter goes away, but you know, if I go back into Spotify, open up an album, start playing it, and then I open up the control center, I have my music controls right down there at the very bottom. I love the background, it shows how far you are along in the song. Um, yeah, so that's Prism. Now, I briefly mentioned a little bit about this at the beginning of this video, but arguably dark mode was one of the best features that came to iOS 13. And like I said, this was achievable with the jailbreak long before iOS 13 on Android devices, or again, like I said, on a jailbreak since I think like iOS 7. It's been around forever, you could do it, but the way Apple did it, they did it so well. Anyhow, this one feature I wanted to show you is achievable with this tweak called Adaptive Dark Mode. Now check this out. You can enable and disable dark mode uh, with your control center toggle like normal, or you can use other toggles like Do Not Disturb 
that also enables dark mode. Same with low power mode, that also enables dark mode and disables dark mode when you toggle off one of those features. Anyhow, you can also set it up for custom brightness levels. I just love the automation here. It makes things so much easier. It's just a quality of life tweak. If I'm in low power mode, probably put my phone into dark mode to save more power. Now, if you guys notice while I was demoing that one right there, when I'm in dark mode, I have one wallpaper, and when I'm out of dark mode, I have a different wallpaper. And that's done with a tweak called Wallpaper Loader, but the really cool thing, this tweak is brand new, it lets you create a light and dark mode wallpaper. It lets you set a custom light mode wallpaper and a custom dark mode wallpaper. Super, super cool tweak. I would love to see an implementation like this in the settings app where you can set a certain wallpaper for light mode and a certain wallpaper for dark mode. It just adds kind of an extra level of customization to your guys' iOS device. But anyhow, real quickly to demo this tweak, check this out. So just tap on choose an image for light mode. I'll go ahead and select something like this. Again, this is just for my photo library. You can tap dark mode and do the same thing uh, and select another wallpaper for dark mode and then just click create right there, give it a name, click OK. And just like that, it is now in your uh, settings app under the wallpaper section. Real fast, look at this awesome tweak. Uh, it just actually rounds and groups application icons. It's subtle, but you know, it's super nice. Anyhow, going into select a new wallpaper, going to stills, going all the way down to the bottom. I have dark papers installed to add more light and dark mode variants or combinations that are already made. But again, you can make your own with this tweak. I love that ability. Anyhow, that's the one that we just made. Go ahead and select set for both. Head back to the home screen. Here's our wallpaper in light mode. And we'll go ahead and toggle on dark mode. And there is our dark mode wallpaper, guys. It looks super cool. I'll go ahead and toggle out of this reminder. I think I remembered to film the video. But again, get out of light mode. This looks great with automatic dark mode. Say if I want to turn on do not disturb, then I'm in dark mode. Or again, low power mode sends me back into dark mode. Super cool tweak, guys. I love the pairing of those two. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Anyhow, it's a super cool tweak. I just, I love what people have done with it. It's just hilarious, like the Stranger Things wallpaper. <laughs> it's just, anyhow. So it's been requested that I don't pick up my phone and shake it all around. This will be about the only thing I wanna demo so you guys can see it a little bit more up close and in detail. So I'll go ahead and open Cydia and check this out at the very bottom. This tweak is called Floaty Tab. It basically puts the bottom navigation bar in this floating navigation bar. And this works not only in Cydia, but any application that has this floating bar. So like the App Store. I mean, just look how clean that looks. It looks super great. I would love to see Apple do something super subtle like this, but it makes everything just look so much more elegant. Okay, so wrapping up this video, if there is two things I could ask Apple to add to iOS 14, it would be these. Please, please, please add the battery percentage to notched devices up in the top right instead of the battery icon. I really just want to see what battery percentage I'm at. And then the second one, this tweak has been demoed a ton, and I'm really surprised Apple hasn't implemented this yet on iOS 13 even, and it's called Auto Unlock X. So if I pick up my device, it wakes up. The second my face is recognized, I'm taken directly to the home screen without having to swipe up. I'll go ahead and demo that one more time. The second my face is recognized, I'm taken directly to the home screen. Super awesome tweak, super simple, but again, those are the two I really wanna see in iOS 14. The second my face is recognized, just take me to the home screen and please put the battery percentage up in the top navigation bar. But anyway, guys, those are the 14 tweaks I wanted to talk about. Those are the 14 features I would love to see Apple take inspiration from and implement directly into stock iOS for iOS 14. 
Again, I hope you guys got a glimpse of how I have my personal iOS device set up. There are more tweaks than the 14 I highlighted in this video, but again, we'll include them down below in the article that we have that goes along with this video. You'll find all the sources and all the repositories there, a jailbreak tutorial, and a bunch of other awesome resources if you guys want to get my setup on your personal phone. Anyhow, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate the support. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.